So we're gathered in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. So, good morning. So, this is uh, Tuesday of the uh, second week of uh, Ordinary Time. And so this morning I'd like to pray for uh, Huey. Uh, he's my school friend of 62 years. So, um... If you say it quick, it doesn't sound so long. So, the, uh, <laughs> so we wish uh, Huey a uh, happy birthday today. So he's 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so let us um, place ourselves before the Lord now. Ask him to be with us and to listen to all the prayers in our hearts today. You call us to be holy people through our thoughts, words, and actions. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You challenge us to live simply, reaching out to the poor and the marginalized. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You call us to go, let go of things that no longer bring life to ourselves or to others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire for each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men swear by someone greater than themselves, for they have an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give their heirs, the heirs of his promise, an even clearer demonstration of the immutality, immutably of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. <coughs> we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response is, Alleluia. 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 I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, Alleluia. exquisite in all their delight. Alleluia. 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 He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what it is, what is the hope that it belongs to our call. Alleluia. 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 And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew, Mark, sorry, Matthew. Lord, as Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to them, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God where Abithar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so one of the things when I was young, we used to have thrashings. Um, and uh, so they had the big thrashing machine. Uh, it's no fun these days. Uh, um, they have these combined harvesters now. And a guy comes into your field at four o'clock in the morning and uh, you don't even know he's there till he puts a bill through your door. Uh, whereas uh, when I was young, uh, it was very much a community affair uh, and you had this great big thrashing machine. And uh, so the... Um, so the cocks of, uh, of there'd be a vote that the, uh, you had people putting them up with a, uh, a pitchfork up to the guys on the top, and they fell, fed the drum, uh, and it was mashed, and uh, ball, bales of stray came out one side, but there was a big bag, and the grains used to come out through the chute, and when we were kids, we could put our hands underneath and grab a handful. Of grain, it's uh, and so and it, and eat it there. So it was a, it was always a kind of a uh, a treat, and uh, and so the um, so all the neighbours had come, and then when the thrashing was done, um, the uh, there was a big meal, and then uh, so a couple of days time, it'd be the neighbour who'd be doing it, and everyone would go to their house. So it was a great kind of community uh, time. And so, the, um, so here we read about the disciples going through the wheat field and uh, picking the ears of corn. And uh, so the, um, you get a few, but it doesn't really fill you. <laughs> it's, um, and, uh, so, and of course, uh, he did it on the Sabbath. Now, why Jesus couldn't have stayed in bed on the Sabbath? Uh, it would have saved him a lot of problems. But he probably did things deliberately on the Sabbath. Uh, to re-educate the uh, law-ridden Pharisees. So the um, <clears throat> and the incident here, he, he's teaching them that the Sabbath was made for the people, not people for the Sabbath. So and that first principle is very important because all laws are uh, for the good of people, and so if they're not serving the good of people, then they're not good laws. And, uh, and so they're not in, in themselves. They're there to help people in different situations. And moral uh, perfection is not in their um, absolute uh, observance of the letter of the law. Uh, for Jesus, observance of the law is only perfect when it's enabling the good of people. And so that's uh, one of the principles he works on. And so the Pharisees were leading rule-centered uh, lives and Jesus came to teach that perfection of the law is living as loving people um, and not the avoidance of rule-breaking 
Um, it's two completely uh, different mentalities. One is very positive based, uh, which is uh, living a life of love, and the, um, the other is uh, negative, uh, that rules are like minefields, you don't step on them. And so you, it's an avoidance, and it's a, often a minimalist way of approaching uh, the Lord. And uh, so, <clears throat> and there's only one law in the Christian faith, and that's love one another as I have loved you. And so Jesus is uh, scolding the Pharisees because they are so rule-observed, obsessed. And they, uh, they could follow the letter of the law meticulously without a hint of love of God or neighbor in it. The, uh, they followed the law, and it didn't matter if people suffered because they were following the letter of the law. The important thing was that the law was followed. That was it. People didn't matter. And, uh, and so with God, people always matter. And uh, so the Pharisees... Uh, they've never died out. We still have them in the church uh, today. One example is um, I worked in a, a parish and in a neighbouring parish there was a priest there and uh, every meeting he came to uh, he always had the code of canon law in his jacket pocket. He carried it with him everywhere and so if somebody asked him a question he never had to think he just got out the rule of canon law and just read it and put it in his pocket and the people had to interpret them themselves. And uh, so, the, uh, so he was very much uh, rule driven with a capital R, <laughs> a huge R. <laughs> but uh, Jesus taught that the law only goes so far. When the law no longer brings life to a situation, then you apply the mercy and justice of God. And that's what the Pharisees forgot. They only took the letter of the law. And because he tells them that the uh, mercy and compassion are the heavier parts, the weightier parts of law. And they'd forgotten that completely. And so, the, uh, <clears throat> uh, so sin is not judged in the rules we break, but the damage done to our relationships. Uh, to our relationship to God and our relationship to others. So what we do, how does it affect those relationships? And uh, so that is how sin uh, is judged, not on what rule we've broken. And remember the hundred million dollar question at the end of time, uh, when we're all paraded before the Lord is, how well did you love when I was hungry? Did you give me to eat? And so, let us pray now. Let us pray that we stop living as Old Testament people caught up in all the intricacies of the law and rather concentrate on building up our relationship with God and our neighbors. We pray. Lord, May the Lord send the Holy Spirit to us to teach us all the ways of God, we pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who are suffering sickness and disease at this time. We remember particularly those with COVID-19. May Christ our healer bring them healing, peace, and hope, we pray. Lord, hear us. Hear our prayer. That in Finland, where they celebrate today, feast of their patron Saint Henry. The work of Christian unity between Lutherans and Catholics will be fruitful, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the people of the United States of America, as they install a new president, that there will be integrity and wisdom in all of his decisions, and respect and peace among all who live in that land, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. O 
Lord, you hold the message of eternal life. May all who hear your word take them into our heart and lead our lives accordingly. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so, with the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord from every fear and evil and grant us peace in our day in your mercy keep us free from sin protect us from all anxieties we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So, peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. <clears throat> Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one bread, one mind, and one heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, uh, Patty was a long-term uh, unemployed, and he passed away. And uh, a neighbour, uh, sometime after the funeral, a neighbour called round to see how she was doing. And uh, she says... Um, I've got the boy out working at last. And the, uh, the neighbour says, how is that? She says, well, I had him cremated and I put his remains in the egg cup, in the, uh, the egg timer. And so he works every day now. <laughs> <laughs> so let us ask the Lord to, um, to bless us now, be with us and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, Father.